close the eyes and just notice your breath Now, notice how low the breath goes in terms of the pelvic floor, lower belly, and whether you feel anything change, whether the, the, the breath is long to go towards the top of your head. Just notice whether you feel any movement on the back of the neck as you breathe in and out. Okay, now we're going to play a little bit with, with the shape of the breath. First thing, and this is incredibly calming, or the whole thing is really calming with a meditative approach, but the breathing into the belly, as most of you know, is very calming. So what I want you to do is minimize the movement in your chest and your collarbones and upper chest, and just let the belly the, the, the breath coming to the belly. Okay. And in order for you to really be able to receive it there, you need to internally, right in be, between the pubic bone and the navel, this whole region, the lower belly, feel inside that there's something that can expand it out, open it out, to all the directions in all dimensions. Make it big, 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 big. Let the breath in there. We're going to do that for a while. The breath doesn't have to be huge. Notice the subtlest movements around the groin. And make sure that the legs are dropped away from your torso so your torso can float up. It's so important that internally you are light and watching this breath with the curiosity of a child, that you're not working or practicing as an adult. Soft you, soft breath. Soft breath, soft you. And now, so that we can familiarize ourselves a little bit more with the, with the shape or, or the effect of tension generally on the breath, understanding the breath. When we exhale, we're gonna make the sound of the two things to look at, as you say, is notice what happens to your lower belly and notice how it starts gently pulling down, pulling in. And as you do, make sure that the shoulder blades are at ease and there is no blockage around, around the throat. Consciously, consciously ease this throat. Again, in the same way that we open inside the lower belly, open between here and here, okay, internally. We make the sound of for as long as it feels right. Two. 
to breathe in, just let go of where the tension was in your lower belly. Let go of that work. Let it out. Let the breath come in and then carry on again. So don't take the breath from the chest. Let it just drop in the belly. When you take the breath in the lower back, everything drops. Notice all these subtle things. When the breath comes in, it can now go into to more places where some contraction are still lingering. Um, every time your breath comes in, there's more pathways of the breath that it can break through and open. Yeah, break through, go through. Last one. Wonderful. Now go to your normal natural breathing. And notice if it's slightly, your breath is slightly lower. Or just be. And now we're going to open the um, upper structure of, of the breathing pattern. We pull the, the lower belly in a little bit. So what we were releasing and emptying and releasing and emptying, we're just going to empty or put it in a bit. That would naturally bring more of the air, more of the movement pattern of the breath into the upper chest, into the chest, into the, the whole of the ribcage. So keep it there. When you inhale, the whole ribcage expands. And when you exhale, let go of your chest. Let go of your upper chest. Let it sink. And that would allow the lower belly to contract more as you exhale. Empty the upper chest. And then keeping the contraction in your lower belly, inhale again. And exhale. There's more contraction in the belly. You might be contracting in the pelvic floor, which is fine. Relax the skull, the back of your skull, away from the chest so that the breath can start going higher up. 
in other words, really scan your body and notice where the breath gets stuck. Wherever you feel in darkness, see if you can ease that region physically. Relax your tongue and jaw. Wonderful, relax and let go of everything. Ah, pose. If you need to move your neck and head, if you need to do anything, do. And then we'll take it to the third pattern. So when a, a, a pure breath, a, a normal breath, when our nervous system is in a default pattern, it goes into the belly, it goes into the chest, and it also goes into the upper part of the of the chest. Um, so now we're just going to isolate the upper parts. We're going to minimize the movement of the belly and the chest. It's a little bit, it might be a bit more awkward, maybe not. And you're just feeling when you're breathing in that the collarbones and the upper chest lift up, lengthening the neck. And the energy goes up from the back of your head up towards the top of your head. So you're minimizing, but if you find movement there, don't beat yourself up. Um, we're learning to isolate. Some days it may come easy, some days not. It is really more educative to see what happens when we breathe there. And it's lovely as you feel the energy going to the top of your head if you feel it. A long length, a long breath can go to the top of your head. A short breath doesn't flow as high up. And that's length in terms of body length, not, not how long we breathe for. Wonderful. Now that should be enough for that. It was just really for you to feel if there was anything that you could feel. And now we're going to bring all the three of them together for just a minute or so. Breathing into the belly. Once the breath is finished, they're coming into the chest, which naturally would bring the lower belly in and then coming higher up, like feeling a pyramid going from the bottom up. When you're ready, bring the three together. Shoulder blades and arms stay relaxed, heavy. And when you're exhaling, is it true release of everything in life that holds you back and holds you or keeps you from feeling joy and love? As you exhale, consciously drop them. Let your upper chest empty. And wonderful. One more breath, finish at your exhalation. Actually, the yogis would say finish at your inhalation. But we can't because we're breathing in and out. It's very difficult. <laughs> so when you are ready, allow yourself to 
Slowly and gently lie down on the back. 